And welcome to Grandad's Reviews. Today, we're going to do that scary thing. We're going to clean the sensor on your Fuji camera. You'll probably notice after a while you'll get uh, some sensor spots on your on the sensor, and that'll be the time when you decide you're going to clean it. Now there's lots and lots of videos on YouTube uh, showing people cleaning sensors and I thought I'd just show you my technique and the fact you don't have to be scared about it really. The sensor isn't as uh, delicate as you possibly think and it's quite an easy job. I won't go into cleaning a really dirty sensor, this is just if you've got some uh, light sensor dust on it. Um, and we'll uh, go through that. A couple of bits of advice for a start. If you've got one of these, unless your sensor's really dirty and you, you've got to start from there, don't use it. When you release it to suck in air, it's sucking in dust. So as soon as you go like that and blow on your sensor, you're just blowing more dust in there really. So you could be making it worse. Obviously you've got a lot of dust in there or you've changed the lens when it was uh, very windy and you've got sand on the bit, yeah, then okay, give it a blow out with this. But if it's only small spots of dust on the sensor, don't give it a blow out with that. The other thing, I know I've watched a few videos and it's shown people putting the camera on a desk, cleaning the sensor. And all you're doing there is letting dust fall down onto the sensor. So I'll show you how I do it to try and stop more dust getting onto it and the sensor swabs I'm using are these reasonably cheap ones from Amazon and they seem to do the job really well and they're a, a dry sensor swab basically uh, a piece of cloth attached to a stick um, if this doesn't remove it then you're gonna have to use fluid um, which I haven't had to do yet so I haven't got any fluid and so I won't be showing that technique, just a dry technique. So let's get started. So this is how I do it. Put your camera on a sturdy tripod. Have the camera pointing slightly down so that any dust is coming past and not going into the actual sensor at all. You then get a sensor swab. Don't take it right out of the packet yet. Body cap off so you can see the sensor. We're going to go on this side across. Now what some uh, people say and what the instructions on here say is that once you go on to the other side flip the swab over and go the other way. I don't do that only because I believe if you're pushing the dust to this side you turn over you're just going to take it back across that side. So take your swab out, place it on the centre at one end at an angle, come straight across, spin it round, go back over it across. Give it a blow, put that back on. Simple as that. Now what I do then is take an image of a blue sky at f22 or as small an aperture as you can get on that lens um, or like I do I just put a, a blue background on the computer screen and take a shot, bring it into Photoshop or Lightroom or whatever, have a, a good look around it and just see if there's any uh, spots left. If there is Give it another go with a new clean swab, throw this one away now, that one's had it, and do it again. If they're really, really stubborn, uh, you may have to put fluid, and you can put fluid on these swabs, even though they're a dry swab, you can actually put a couple of drops of fluid and do it that way. But I would say try it with the dry ones first, so you've got no risk of smearing or leaving any dampness on the actual sensor. But it's as easy as that. The sensor's not delicate, you're not going to damage it, and to be honest you won't have to do it that often unless you're out in really dusty situations. So if you think you've got dust on your sensor, take a shot of the blue sky or your computer screen with a blue background, have a look at it 100% in your editing software. If there is any dust, if there's less than four or five spots, won't worry about it, but if there is more than that, then give it a clean, take a shot, and have a look again. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. If you want to be notified, hit that bell button. Till next time, see you later. <laughs>